Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the release date. I've been talking about it on stream a lot today. Uh, link in the description, twitch.tv slash Zatar underscore wow. Anyway, moving past that, uh, I was a little bit disappointed in the uh, release date. And I think unfortunately it's going to have pretty negative ramifications for a lot of guilds because the 27th is a Thursday. Um, and I think that releasing the raid on a Thursday is going to prove to be uh, potentially an issue for a lot of guilds. So I'll go over what it means to be on a Thursday and then why uh, Mount Hygel and Black Temple in particular are raids that are not necessarily, um, you know, it's like the first, they have some unique problems that other raids and other raid tiers didn't have uh, revolving around the attunement and also um, trash farming. So uh, first of all, what what's wrong with releasing on a Thursday? And just for some more specifics, I'll also link to this tweet. Um, uh, there's a tweet from Brian Birmingham, which is the, one of the WoW devs, and he says that uh, it will be afternoon in the United States on the Thursday that it releases, and that it will be late or even early in the AM of Friday for EU. So a lot of EU raids are not going to be able to raid uh, Thursday either, the day of release, and they'll be pushed into Friday unless they're a guild that raids really late. So um, the point of this all really from my point of view is if you are a EU or NA guild that raids on Tuesday or Wednesday for NA, or Wednesday or Thursday for EU, which are, by the way, very popular um, raid days, especially on reset day. A lot of guilds like to raid. Um, if you raid on either one of those days, you're going to be missing one of your raid days for the first week of Mount Hygel and Black Temple, uh, which is really unfortunate. Now, obviously, a lot of guilds will be able to move the date, um, but there's definitely a chance that some won't be able to. And, and you know, that could be disastrous, especially for some of those NA guilds that raid Tuesday, Wednesday, and the EU guilds that raid uh, Wednesday, Thursday. As both of their raid days, they will not be able to raid. And I think that uh, the reason that they decided to release the raid on Thursday is so that they can do a global release. Uh, and they specifically want um, the Asian regions to have the game out on their reset, notably China resets on Thursday. So this would be a good date um, for, for that specific purpose. But like I'm mentioning here, um, you know, if, if you're missing the first two days of the reset for NA and EU, not only can this potentially cause them to, to miss their raid days and have to reschedule, but this is where I wanna tie it in with some of the unique challenges of Mount Hygel and Black Temple. Uh, Black Temple is the only raid we've seen in Classic um, so far that you cannot be attuned to before the raid actually comes out. Uh, it's, it's the only one that you can't be prepared in advance. And the reason for that is the final step of the Black Temple attune requires you to kill the first boss of Mount Hygel. Now, why this is especially bad if... Um, guilds are moving around their days and maybe trying to work on and raid on backup days and they might not have the same turnout um, that they would expect on their main raid days the reason why this is really bad is because the only players in your guild that will be able to enter black temple are the exact 25 that entered mount hygel or any players that were able to get the mount hygel attune complete outside of raid so that means if, because the raid is releasing on a Thursday and your guild has to pick alternative days, if you have less availability from your players and if you have to use backup players or move things around on your roster, you're actually going to be in a lot of trouble specifically with this raid tier because of the attunement, um, which they even show on, on the blue post, requiring you to uh, actually do the first boss of Mount Hygel to get into Black Temple. So this is another way in which this could kind of get exasperated and it could get even worse. Now, the final thing I will mention is trash farming. 
This is a kind of a minor note, but this is um, probably the first time there's been a, a tier released in the classic era where trash farming will, will play a significant potential role in guilds clearing bosses. The reason for that is uh, some guilds are planning to trash farm to get shadow resistance gear uh, to beat Mother Shiraz. Uh, obviously, you don't necessarily need any um, any of the Heart of Darkness items to get enough shadow resistance to, to kill her, nor do you necessarily need, um, you know, a super high amount of shadow resistance to, to kill Mother Shiraz, but a lot of guilds are going to be trash farming to try and kill Mother Shiraz. So losing two days of the reset cuts down on, on when they can potentially farm. But that's not really the big crux of it. Um, I just wanted to make this video to kind of just prepare you guys, just heads up, you know, if you run a guild or maybe you should ask your, your guild leadership what's gonna happen. Uh, definitely could be tough for NA and EU guilds. Um, you know, because of the Thursday release. And, and unfortunately, I think uh, that this is a mistake to release it on Thursday. I think that Blizzard should either release at the reset if they want the easy solution, just release the, uh, the, the patch uh, at different times for each of the regions, put it out at release, and that would allow, you know, none of the regions to lose any days uh, and no guilds are gonna be in really bad situations where they're missing one to two raid days. Uh, but if you really want the global release and it's really important for the race to, to world first, which albeit is very uh, much a minor detail compared to retail in my opinion, because the raid is already up on PTR for everyone to complete and uh, the race is going to be very short relative to, to a retail race to world first that could last you know over a week and has really high viewership. Uh, but regardless, uh, if you really did care about the race to world first and want all of the regions to unlock at the same time, I think what Blizzard should have done is release the raid globally on Tuesday and uh, just on EU and uh, Asian realms, make it such that the reset does not uh, affect Mount Hyjal and Black Temple for the first week. Now, obviously that would require potentially change, um, but that would be, I think, if you really care about the global release, that'd be the way to do it. I think it's much better to give um, Asian regions an extra two days to potentially um, do week one uh, Mount Hyjal and Black Temple rather than cutting down on two days for NA and EU. But again, I'll leave the links to this stuff. Uh, very excited to do Mount Hyjal and Black Temple. If you guys want to check out um, my guild's progression, feel free to put a follow on my Twitch in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.